fresh off the bye week, feeling good because the Bills didn't lose last weekend. I didn't have to sit, watch them, just embarrass themselves. But hey, I mean, I'm going to watch them every week. I'm going to go to all the games and I'm going to watch every game. But it uh, doesn't look good this week, does it? Not much to say coming off the bye week. I can't really review much. John Cordo got activated today. Cool, cool. Kerry Harris released. <laughs> cool. Right? Badgers getting released left and right, though, huh? I think they have roster exemption for Sean Nelson. One more week. He'll probably play this week. And then they got to cut somebody else. <laughs> probably be... Fred Jackson or somebody. I don't know. They'll do something. They'll do something weird. But, uh, Baltimore. Really not the team, an 0 5 team, needs to see uh, to feel better about themselves, especially on the road. It's going to be ugly, I think. Uh, Baltimore's coming off a tough loss at New England where they blew the lead. Ray Lewis, furious. Well, you know what, Ray? Ray Ray? You and your, oh, it's going to be tough out on Buffalo. Okay, cool, buddy. It's going to be tough on the 0-5 team. We're not taking it lightly on this 0-5 team. Yeah, we're going to take it to them. I mean, yeah, okay, you're going to take it to everybody. You can't take anybody lightly in the NFL because you, you'll lose. You know, except when you're playing the Bills, maybe. But uh, how big, like, Ray Lewis, former Super Bowl MVP, former murderer, killer, accomplice to murder. <laughs> Talking about how he's going to rip apart on a 0-5 team. Cool, man. I mean, that's, it's like saying you're going to beat up a girl in elementary school. Give me a break. And I, I don't take that. If anybody's watching that, don't take it the wrong way. I don't want to be like, I don't want a domestic violence dispute to start off here. But, hey, you know what? I wish some of the Bills would say, we're going to take it to Baltimore. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to a shoe being on the other foot, so to say. But the Bills just have a bunch of uh, average players, I guess. Nobody solid. I mean, okay, solid players. But you don't have a Haloni Nana in the middle. They don't have a Ray Lewis. They don't have a Terrell Suggs. They don't have an Ed Reed who hopefully doesn't play. <laughs> that said, Baltimore secondary is pretty weak. If uh, Fitzpatrick can get maybe three seconds to throw the ball, maybe they'll find success. Are they going to be able to stop Ray Rice? No. Are they going to be able to stop Joe Flacco? No. <laughs> About 30 points in, what, four straight games now? Can we go at Baltimore? With a good running back, good quarterback, solid wide receiving core. It, it could be ugly. I mean, it probably will be. As ugly as we've ever seen? I, maybe. I don't know. Sorry, I'm getting a little sick. Sick of this Bills team. How about that? It's, it's, it's sad because we're all already looking at the draft. Like, maybe Andrew Luck. Uh, maybe maybe Jake Luck or, or Ryan Mallett. Uh, is Ryan Mallett a cokehead? I don't know. That's different. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a couple weeks. But maybe, hey, maybe, maybe we trade out a one or a two or three or whatever we have. And get some more picks, and maybe we'll take Christian Ponder, and maybe we'll take a big offensive tech. Like, it's week seven, and we're talking about the NFL draft. Whatever. I guess when you're 0 5, is what you do. How about we win a game? Like, I just want to. I want to win a game. If we go 0 and 16, do you realize how inept you have to be to go 0 and 16? Like, we can't. No, we're not. We're, no. We'll beat somebody along the way. 
maybe only two teams, but we'll beat somebody. Won't be this week. Won't be this week. But uh, it is what it is. I mean, I mean, I'm surprised they're this bad. I mean, I am and I am. I'm not. I didn't think they were gonna be good, but I didn't see what they lost that made them that much worse. Shobel, I guess. Shobel, Brad Butler, and To, Josh Reed. I, I, but like, what? I guess they just didn't really address their immediate needs at quarterback, left tackle. Even though Demetrius Bell is playing better. I will give him that. He's not great. But he's playing better. Of course, maybe he's just getting overshadowed by Cornell Green. Who would be better served as a pylon at right tackle. Thank God he's hurt. I never thought I'd say that. That's, that's just mean. I don't, I don't mean that. But I'm a little happy he's not in the lineup. I don't wish injury upon him. But I'm, I'm happy. Maybe they... Undisclosed injury. Maybe he actually isn't hurt and he just got benched. But he is $3 million a year for that guy? Wow. I want to know how that guy's business tactics. How does he do that? That guy has a great agent. A fantastic agent. Whoever that is, probably Rosenhaus, right? Fantastic agent, though, Cornell Green. <laughs> anyway, this week, Bills, Ravens. What's going to happen? Bills are going to lose. Flat out. Ray Rice, probably good for a buck 20. You, you're thinking like 200. No, he's probably only going to do like a buck 20. But they'll probably score two touchdowns. Flacco. I mean, st you're starting all your Ravens in your fantasy lineups. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't care if you have... Who's their fourth receiver? I don't know. Stallworth? But Stallworth's hurt. I don't know. Whoever the fourth receiver is, I'd probably give him a look in deeper leagues. Uh, Bills will not be able to run the ball. They might. I don't know. I really... It's The Bills' offense is just so unpredictable. You know the defense is going to allow 31, you know? Well, what's the offense going to do? Against that Ravens front seven, I, I'm not a lot, I'm assuming. But they're, like I said, their back four secondary is just pretty weak. So I think the Bills will score a little bit of points, maybe some garbage points. But they'll score. They'll probably be in it. Until the third quarter. Make me sit there and watch it. But who knows? You know, I, I, I'm so sure they're going to lose right now. But as soon as I turn on that game Sunday and they move the ball, they get one first down in their opening drive, I'm going to be like, you know what? They're going to win this game. Happens every time, and then they just lose. But I'm not. It can't happen. You can't beat the Ravens on the road. They're own 5 <laughs> Bills are going to lose probably 31-13. There you go, 31-13. Ravens. Bills will fall to 0-6. It's going to be ugly. Pretty ugly. The rest of the way. But hey, there's always next year. We've been saying that for 10 years, right? I don't know. There's always next week. Let's just say that for now. There's always next week. we got to get this first win. Once we get this first win, then maybe we can start talking about next year. But first, let's get the W. Because I'm not going 0-16, okay? I don't care if I have to push strap on the uniform myself. We're not going 0-16. We're not. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming this far. Ryan, Tyler, what's up? You asked for the shout-out. There you go. I don't like you guys, but you watch these videos, and you're probably cracking up right now. Whatever. There's your shout-out. Thanks for coming this far. I'll, I'll start selling shout-outs, maybe. There you go. A little advertising. But thanks for coming this far. Enjoy your weekend. Go Bills!